right, guys, we came to the uh, pumpkin patch. As you can see, there's no one here. We drove by, we thought maybe it was closed, but we're like, wait a minute, it can't be closed. It's a pumpkin patch. We're just gonna enjoy this deserted pumpkin patch. I think some random family is gonna come out of that bus once we start picking the pumpkins. Kwame learning about cornhole. Mom, go like this. One, two, three. Super clammy. Oh hell no. Oh my god. Two and a half years old. <laughs> <laughs> If you saw a deserted pumpkin patch, would you go? It's in broad daylight, so I think we're fine. One, two. Three. Super clap. Okay. Correction, there, we found a woman. She was sitting behind the desk, but we couldn't see her. She just appeared. Oh, hell no! The kid rather play cornhole than go inside an empty bounce house. Yay! Yay! All right, we've been here before, and and now we want to see how much Kwame has grown. Now we're at the doctor's office for Kwame's two and a half year update to see how he's doing. So far, what we have confirmed it is a very big boy. It weighs a lot and is tall. Wow, 40 and a half. Here, 40 and a half. <laughs> Be all the way back, all the way back. Mommy has to fill out new paperwork. Mommy got his finger pricked for his glucose or whatever. Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, when you put your finger there, it makes the water come out. Say water. Fire. Say sink. 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 Kwame's first mask ever, ever. First time ever wearing one. <laughs> Is it supposed to light yourself? Yeah. Kwame, turn the lights in the on. Turn them on, Kwame. It doesn't look like you mind. Kwame, please turn it on. <laughs> We're waiting for the doctor and Kwame has finally started to relax. We ended up at a Greek restaurant. We haven't been here since the pandemic. Kwame's getting a little bit of uh, water with a splash of lemonade. Anastasia's doing some business outside. That's hot, Kwame. Got a falafel, or I think Anastasia got a spicy chicken euro. My falafel euro. A sweet potato fries. Blow on it. Go. <laughs> Look at Anastasia out there doing some serious talking. Anastasia is having a serious conversation. Look at Mama. What's she talking about? Mama. Yeah. What's so serious? Anastasia found her way into TJ Maxx. I didn't. Kwame brought us here. Kwame, it's all your fault. Kwame, is this your day? So I guess the Halloween thing continues, and now we're going to get some stuff for the yard. Who is this? What's going on here? Kwame had two, but we decided no, for him to choose one. <laughs> All right, everybody, I got a question for you. I think it was a couple Halloweens ago. We Bye. went to a pumpkin patch. Bye. We dropped a, a video on it, and there's a variety of people who take issue with us celebrating Halloween. It's just evil. I think especially as Christians. And he's a priest, so we should be... We shouldn't be celebrating. One of the priests at my church came from Madagascar, and she said that when one of the bishops came from Madagascar in October, 
he couldn't believe that all these people have all this Halloween stuff in their front yard and all this death stuff. He's like, you know, back home, this is something you try yeah, to expel. Glorify. You try to expel it. And then here, you run to it and you um, celebrate it. So now I grew up in the States. To here it was just always fun and laughing and hilarious. Horror movies were always make-believe. There was never a celebration of evil or a temptation of it. We are doing this because obviously Kwame is going to grow up with this culture, okay? So meaning like there'll be lots and lots of celebration of Halloween. When I first came here, too, I thought it was weird. I'm still not 100% fully into it. Not into it because it makes you feel weird or no, because it's just, you don't like the holiday? I just think it's stupid. <laughs> I guess I also never understood what Halloween is all about. And not that I care to read about it. It's nothing that is just going to like bring me joy or anything. It's another excuse to kind of just celebrate with other people and see your kids just having fun. I think even when I was in college, I dressed up one time as a police officer. I was cute. I was a cute police officer. Just because it was a Halloween party, everybody's supposed to dress up, but I kind of don't care. But when my sister was growing up, we had to take her to all these knocking at people doors back in the day. I don't, do they still do it now? Yeah. Oh. Kwame's gonna do it. I don't think it's weird. I don't think it's celebration of evil. I'll say that as a churchman. And also too, there are three major holidays in the church. It's called All Souls Day, All Hallows Eve, and All Saints Day. They are holy sacred days that the church did to overtake pagan thoughts and beliefs on death and to believe in the resurrection. So when anyone says it's not Christian, that's not true. Thank Hallows you. Eve is Halloween. What they did is what the church has done many times is they've taken pagan holidays like the celebration of trees and that's where they transferred to it to Christmas. Right. Hallows Eve is the Eve before All Souls Day of the dead, the day of the dead, which in other cultures talks about the dead are still floating around. We, that's not what we believe as Christians. We believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ, you move on to eternal rest and on the day of resurrection will we already raised up period i don't think for me i don't think it's about whether it's christian or not i just don't dig it for me it's just stupid to like even dress up for kids and i'm telling you we're doing this obviously because it's an american thing so every it's kid it's fun that's what, because it's you were so raised here. It's so much fun. You were raised here, so it's fun. But for me, it's and like... And someone's got to be able to support all the dentists. Yeah, we are happy to celebrate with Kwame so he can look back, so he doesn't feel like, oh, my parent, I don't want to hear him say, um, you know, I have African mom. Oh. And she just didn't want me to celebrate these things, so I don't have any pictures to prove I didn't do anything. La, 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 la. You know how African parents are? All this nonsense. So, we are doing it so he has something to say when he gets older and we've been doing it we did it last year when he was one he kind of didn't care much about it this time he looks like he's actually enjoy is going to enjoy it what you saw today was him in a superman outfit that's not his halloween outfit mama has got one that was just his Th that's uh, hand down no that the one that you guys just saw is a hand down from liam but he is going to be a whole different person for halloween it's in, in a place like florida too where not all the neighbors are talking to each other it, it's this night where you can go to a neighbor's house and go ask them for candy and not get shot it's a time in america where a bunch of people can walk around their community all be on the same page all dress up actually can have hand out food and candy to each other so you can actually say it's a really good thing it's a community mm -hmm. builder let us know obviously we're pretty clear about where we stand you might feel very differently and this is not to say that you're wrong this is just to say that we're right i'm kidding it's okay what is weird. this there's a bunch of people determination uh, yeah that's jimmy over there oh he's making food jimmy what are you doing oh we're doing out here for cancer protest I'm about. My wife is five years free of cancer. Five years free of breast cancer. She walked Saturday. She walked three miles and she's so happy and she happy I'm happy. Happy wife, happy life, you see? Yeah. I'm just learning that. Hey what's up my brother? Alright. Quam cakes finally out asleep. Had a full day. Well that pretty much sums up the whole vlog. Hopefully we didn't put you to sleep. It was fun today, but I'm tired. I'm sure Kwame is exhausted. Christian can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And Does telling you and asking you to subscribe, like, or share do anything at all? Has it ever led you to subscribe to anyone's channel when they said that? Please let us know in the comment section. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye.